screenshot update project. It is the 28th of April, 2022. Thanks for being here. So today we're going to take an outdated screenshot. Uh, let's see. Oh, and my screen is not shared right now, is it? No, no. Share my screen. So sharing my entire screen. And now here is the spreadsheet of outdated screenshots. So now how did I get to this sheet? I used our, our Contributhon folder on Google Drive and inside the projects folder there under screenshot update, there's this sheet, outdated screenshots. And so each member of the team has a link to this folder and they can find this outdated screenshots page. So then let's make this thing big enough to actually read. So what it is, is we had done a, a, a several checks to see are there which things need a screenshot update and we looked at one of them that we looked at was blue ocean getting started so this link right here says it needs the plugin manager screenshot updated so i'm going to open that page okay so here it is this is getting started with blue ocean and this page the available tab does not reflect what how how the product currently looks so let's go look to see how the product currently looks by looking at a jenkins installation that's running oops okay let's get a jenkins installation that's running weekly instead of me using fat fingers there okay and here i need to fill in the correct password Okay, so this is a Jenkins version that's one week out of date, but only one week out of date. So I'll get it updated. It's close enough for this purposes to make this these screenshots useful. So if we look, let's just compare the between the two. I'm gonna page back and forth between them. So here's, it was on the available tab. Notice how different the available tab is here compared to here. So there, there is definitely a difference in, in those two pictures. This one, the old tab had install name version. The new one has install name released and has a lot more information on each row about the, the plugins that are available. So this is a really good one for us to update the screenshot. Now, the challenge is it helps me if I know roughly how big that picture is. So I'm going to save this just to remind myself. Okay, I've saved it. Now, if I go here and how big is it just to just to see. Okay, so properties. So this thing is. 1820 by 1250 so it's quite a large screenshot so i can i can certainly make it smaller than that and not do it any harm good i see that i'm safe there so this screenshot and what it's showing me a picture of is available tab so i'm going to actually narrow my window to something much smaller so that the message will get across. How about there? Yeah. What do you think? Is that a reasonable width for a screenshot? Because then I'll trim it down. Yes, it is. Okay, so now I'm going to take a picture. And I like this go full page thing. It's a It's been very helpful for me in terms of taking pictures. You could use whatever screenshot tool works for you on yours. I then do an edit, and now I can crop this image so that it's showing plugin manager. And now I have to scroll way down here to get, because I don't need to show all that much. So let's look. Now let's see what the other one looked like. So it had, what do you think? Is that, okay, it has the buttons on it. Oh, no, no, wait a sec. I'm taking the wrong page. No, this is available. Okay. 
So it showed the buttons on it. I'm not showing the buttons. Do you think I should? I should probably include the buttons somehow, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should. Yeah, which means I've got to do something different then because because this list is just too long. This picture is too long to inst to use that way. So what I probably want to do is I'm going to save save this two different ways. I'm going to save here. Call this done cropping. Now I'm going to download it. See, download and export. And then I'm actually going to open it locally with a, uh, a, a program that does image editing like Paint. And now I've got it here in Microsoft Paint or whatever image editor you use on, your, on yours. And I'm going to go make changes to bring this thing into what I want. So I'm going to cut this stuff. Oops. Try that again. Let's cut from there. Okay, I just did a cut and I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna do a paste and if I scroll it down a little bit, I can align it somewhere like there. Yes, that's okay. Okay, so now admittedly, this is, I had to do that little bit of edit and now I'm going to do a crop to throw away all the extra stuff that I don't need. Oops, how do I get there? I need to shift the screen just a little. Let's go. You can tell I don't do image editing as often as I should, do I? <laughs> okay, so cropping this image like this. Nope, I still don't quite have. Okay, so I'm going to have to zoom, aren't I? view oh oh here we go if i just know that wasn't what i wanted okay so how am i going to how can, oh i bet there's a way to do it like this sorry soma that you're having to watch me do screen editing isn't that just terrible shame on me <laughs> no it's not it's okay oh oh i know what to do i see I grab this. Nope, that was not the answer. Okay, how am I going to? Did you do try this? zooming it out? Like I, I did, but smaller? I don't know how to do the zoom here. Okay, so there's a hundred percent. What's what's the zoom function in this editor? Yeah, I hmm. think you could reduce. Um, maybe take it to eighty percent, something like that. Yeah, the challenge is I don't know I don't see a control here that will let me do that. So maybe I need to just try a different program. Let's I let's... think the hundred percent um I think it slides. It has a slider. Oh it oh it, you think it does. Okay, well so let's yeah. do that. I I certainly oh not with photos. Oh actually well let's we want to open this with paint. Okay, and you were saying that you think there's a slider here yeah right at the bottom of the screen oh oh very good thank you like this yeah. it's nice to have people who actually know things thank you thank you okay <laughs> so welcome. now we're going to fix my mistake by jumping down here to the bottom cutting this much But what just happened? I must have killed my web browser, my paint program. Reopen. Let's try it again. Okay. Sorry for making you watch me practice. Okay. <laughs> so what we've got to do here, really, truly, Mark. Okay. What we've got to do here is scroll down to the bottom. We're going to copy this chunk. Okay, it's copied. Now I'm going to jump up to the top. 
and I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to move it into position so that it looks reasonably correct like that okay yeah so now I need to and what you were saying is that if I will just be a little smarter, I can do it like that. And now it's all on screen and I can do the crop like this. See, none of this has anything to do with committing the change, but it's, it's actually quite important. Now, how do I tell it to cut? Nope, that's not it. I want... Clearly, I need a tutorial on how to edit images with paint. Okay, so where, oh, oh, there is a crop. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. All right, image editing complete. So now I do a file, save, and now it helps if I know the name of the file. So going back here to that, no, not that one, to this one the original file name is what it's blue ocean plugins filtered so the reason i can tell that is that's the url that was used so that's the file name i want to give it just for my convenience so back here blue ocean plugins filter.png Oh, what? No. Oh, oh, right. That's the old file. We don't need that. So that would have been another way for me to get it. Now, this should be the new file. And it is. Okay. So we have successfully, after much pain and sorrow, found a way to get that file. So I need to copy this. Now I've, I'm running on a com Windows computer, so I need to get it to my Linux computer. You would do the easy thing and drag it around. I can't do it quite that easily because I have to copy it from Windows to my Linux computer. And here it's that. All right, so now let's go where, now we're gonna to get to do the fun part. So this is where we're going to create this pull request. So here's my cloned copy of, so let's see, would it help you if I did the, started from a fresh copy of the repository? Neither of you probably have copied this repository yet, have you? No, I haven't. Okay, so let's start fresh. All right, so we need to get a copy of the Jenkins documentation repository. And so one easy way to get that is to click the improve this page link and that takes us to the repository. So now if I copy from here the, the, the URL, there it is. Now I can go over here and I can clone it. So I'm going to say git clone that thing. Now I'm going to add something that will make my download much, much faster so we don't have to wait. You won't be able to add this extra little, this benefit thing because you probably don't already have that that repository locally so i'm going to do that uh whoops git clone minus minus reference oh it's already there okay we have to throw the copy away that i already have now you'll do a clone so you do a git clone of that thing And then in that directory, I now have the repository. And now in my case, it makes it much easier for me to work with it if I use the gh command and say gh repo fork. 
And GH is a is the GitHub command line interface that I mentioned Saturday. Yeah. So this says, hey, it already exists. Would you like to add it? I say yes. Git remote minus V. There we go. So it knows about mine and it knows about this one. So now I need to check out a branch. So I'm going to check out a branch, and this is update blue ocean screenshot. And how about we call it plugin manager? So no shame using nice long names for branches. It helps us remember what's what's what. And it should be based on upstream. It is good. All right. So now I've got a branch. So if I do get status, we'll see I've got a branch. The branch is named update blue ocean manager screenshot. And in my home directory, I put this file, Blue Ocean Plugins Filtered. If I go looking for that file with the git ls files command, it says that's where it is. So I'm going to say move that file that I created okay. into that location. Now, when I do a git status, it says, hey, there's something that's changed. Yeah. That's a good thing. Now, I've got a little script that I run that will attempt to optimize that image. And I think we included that in our last set. That's in the, the Google Doc. So I ran that script yes, and it says, there. sorry, what was that? I said it, it's there. Very good. Okay. So, so I ran that and it says, hey, it saved 18,000 bytes out of out of 60,000 something. So that, that was a nice saving. So now if we say git commit minus a minus v and it's a, and then I'm going to say update blue ocean plugin manager screenshot updated live in the screenshot updates project. So now GH PR create. So this is, I'm going to use the GH command line to create a pull request or, or would you prefer that I do it through the GitHub UI first, just in case you don't want to use GH? Um, okay. 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 So the, then let's take that step. So, what I have right now, if we look at what I've got, you'll see I have one commit after master on the update blue ocean, but I don't have anything that says this has been pushed remotely. So if I say git push, it will tell me, what do you mean? I don't know what to do. Then it tells me what to do. I, I choose this, git push, set upstream, that so what this does is pushes my change to the remote github and it gives me back this nice hint of what i should do next and in the what i should do next it says create a pull request by visiting this url so if i double click that and paste that into my web browser it puts me right into the update blue ocean plugin screenshot and you can even see the difference between the two notice the deleted page and the added page yes. so it shows us and and i like this because it shows us that the new image is significantly smaller than the old image which is is a big win because it's more readable for human beings on when they're reading documentation yes so intentionally used a lower resolution, a smaller screenshot. Easier to read in online docs. So I'm going to press the create pull request button. Now what this will do is it's going to start the continuous integration evaluation process through a series of checks. And the checks will, will include creating a new site 
that I can use to see how this looks after my change was made. So you remember that today it looks like, where is the page? It looks like I've misplaced the page. Let's go here. Nope, not there. We'll go here. Nope. We'll have to go back to the book. Jenkins. Documentation. Blue Ocean. Which was in, is it? No, it's not installing. Oh, Blue Ocean. There it is. Okay. And the page we were looking at was... Oh, this is really sad that I don't remember which page we were even on. Getting started? Yes, here it was. It was the first screenshot in getting started. Oh, now look at this. Okay, I made a terrible mistake. Oh. It, it's amazing the number of mistakes I can make in doing this exercise. Notice what this screenshot was trying to illustrate. It was trying to show how to find and install Blue Ocean with the plugin manager, and I didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. So so the pull, the pull request that I just submitted is nonsense, right? So, so let me put a note on this, that this pull request is nonsense because it's not showing what we wanted it to show. Sorry about that. Needs to show the screenshot with blue ocean filtered in the filter field. Do not merge this pull request yet. <laughs> Sorry, that's really embarrassing, but thank you for your patience while I make mistakes in front of you. I'm going to convert this to draft as a way to assure that no one else can can merge it. So you can do you could do the same as well. If you realize you made a mistake, you just convert it to draft and it tells the rest of us don't merge this. Okay. All right. So now we need to go fix the mistake I made. And the mistake I made is going to be a little difficult to fix because Blue Ocean is already installed on this computer. Oh, no, no, that's okay. It's all right. It's showing it to me. Oh, good. I got lucky. I, I'm very happy about this because it looks like Blue Ocean is not already installed on this computer, and yet I thought I had it installed. Oh, no, no, it, it is partially installed. Okay, so I've got to do something different in order to get Jenkins to a condition where I can run without having Blue Ocean on it. So just a minute while I start a new Jenkins, and we're going to, we're going to do a little more in this demo. We've got about five more minutes before I have to end for the next meeting. Are you okay if I keep doing this? Okay, no problem. I already understand it. Okay, you, you, well, so I guess the flip side is, should I just stop in case there are other questions? Because I think you understand what, what I need to do. What I need to do to fix this problem is I need to start with a Jenkins that doesn't have Blue Ocean installed. And I type Blue Ocean here and it shows the things that can be installed. Right. So um, I do have one question. So yes. if I was to do it, would I need to uninstall Blue Oceans from my computer? Yeah, for this particular screenshot, yes, you would, right? Okay. Because I would have, because... To, I would have to uninstall it and then when I'm done, reinstall. Right, exactly. That's one of the complications of this particular screenshot update is that in order for me to do an adequate job of this one, although maybe, no, see, yeah, see, see, my, my system is a little bit weird in that I didn't install the top level Blue Ocean thing, but I installed a bunch of components that are part of Blue Ocean because I need the components. Your system will be even different because you installed the top level. And so, you would have to uninstall and I would have to uninstall Blue Ocean in order to make this screenshot be accurate. Okay. 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 So I was thinking, let me let me try it myself, this okay. particular screenshot, and then get back to you. 
Excellent. That's great. If you're willing to do that, that would be that would be super. I will. I'd say let's. Uh, are there other questions, or would you be okay if we called a, a a pause for today so I can get ready for my next meeting? Of course, of course, I'm okay with that. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. And it should be. I should be able to make the recording of this available. I hope within the next 24 hours. Okay, that would be nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye, Soma.